Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics. Let us see the complete solution for the model question paper of DDCO subject. So the question paper released by VTU recently. So this model paper effect from 2023-24 CBCS scheme. The code is BCS302. The first question demonstrate the non-associativity of NAR gate. Here you can see the R gate and NAR gate symbol as well as the truth table. So for the R gate, if you consider the associative property or associativity satisfies. So here A plus B of plus C, A plus of B plus C can be written. And if you put any values over here for this diagram, it will satisfy this also. So that's why we say associativity satisfies for R gate. But for the NAR gate, if you see, we, can, we need to take A plus B bar plus C whole bar. Similarly, A plus of B plus C bar whole bar. So these two are not equal. That's why we say for the NAR gate, associative property is not valid. That's why non-associativity of the NAR gate can be proved in this way. Take LHS A plus B whole bar plus C whole bar and similarly RHS A plus of B plus C whole bar to the whole bar. Then we are simplifying this bar first. Then it leads to A plus B double bar. This plus becomes dot if you apply De Morgan's theorem. Then C bar. So here double bar get cancelled. It leads to A plus B into C bar. If you simplify the RHS in the same way, it gives A bar into B plus C. So these two are completely different expressions. So these are not same. So associativity is not valid for NAR gate. So NAR gate non-associativity can be explained in this way. Coming to the second question, here design a car safety alarm circuit. Uh, here uh, door key, seat pressure and seat belt are given. And we need to consider the input as high. When the door is closed, key is in. Key is in means key is put into the car. That is what the meaning. Driver is on the seat. Then only driver is on the seat. Then only we consider it as driver is in and seat belt is fastened. So in this case, we need to take inputs as one. Alarm is the output here. Alarm A. Alarm A should be sound when two conditions are stated below. The first condition is that the door is not closed and key is in. Door is not closed means we need to take D is equal to zero. K e, key is in means K is equal to one. So when D is equal to zero and K is equal to one, we need to take the output as one. So if you see the block diagram here and the truth table I have written. So for this condition, you can see D is equal to zero, K is equal to one. You can see the first yellow mark here in the truth table. D is zero, K is one. At that time, no need to look for P and B values. We can directly take one as output as per the first condition. And if you look at the second condition, it says the door is closed, key is in the driver's seat. So when door is closed, key is in the driver's seat means it is not valid. How we can say key is in the driver's seat? Just key is inside the car, but it is not uh, plugged into the key point. In the driver's seat means it is not valid. That's why I have taken this condition assuming that door is closed, D is equal to one. Key is in means key is inside the car's key slot and driver is in the seat P is equal to 1. Otherwise, if as per the question, key is in the, in the driver's seat means key is not plugged into the car key slot. Here the question says key is in means since it is a car safety alarm circuit, simply putting into the driver's seat, it doesn't mean, right? That's why key is in uh, the driver's seat doesn't uh, makes it is a good logic. So we are taken key is equal to one and driver is in the seat, but seat belt is not fastened. Means seat belt is not closed. So B is equal to zero. So for these conditions, this is the output one, 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 zero is equal to one. And if you take these values into the K map, it will leads to these values over here. And we will be getting these two groups and these groups gives D bar K plus KP B bar. Now the next thing is we need to implement it using only NAR gates. 
and uh, this is just for your reference using basic gate implementation and you can look for using nor gate implementation here this gives uh, the nor gate circuit it takes six nor gates and you can see here this is in between the value x here it we have taken and simplifying that uh, we will be getting a correctly so this is about the question car safety alarm circuit with the example explain the working of test bench in verilog so here we need to explain what is test bench and why it is required with a block diagram and explanation with an example so first of all test bench is a code uh, that simulates a design without need of any physical hardware for testing and it verifies the functionality and correctness of the digital design we de we write in verilog so test bench allows the designer means the one who write the verilog design to catch the bugs and validate the functionality and also optimize the design before the fabrication of the physical hardware before it go into the fabrication of ic hardware if there is any bug in the code it can be verified using test bench so test bench block you can see the outer block is test bench it consists of our design under test this is the verilog design and the stimulus we are going to write in test bench stimulus block will be there and output checker will be there this is what the standard block diagram for the test bench and you can take half adder as example here i have given the design code and also the test bench you can refer my videos in verilog playlist you yeah, uh, also in ddco uh, subject playlist clearly explains what is test bench how the test bench is written design code is written and coming to the second question demonstrate the positive and negative logic signal so you can see positive logic means 0 to 1 negative logic means here 0 will be considered as 1 and 1 will be considered as 0 so the negative logic and positive logic need to be explained here and uh, you can see here signal in the range 0 how the transition occurs and when it becomes 1 uh, those are the things you need to explain with respect to the positive and uh, negative logic signal and then we have one more question here uh, digital system to be designed in which month of the year is given as input in a 4 bit form means from january to december we need to take the uh, months as starting from 0, 0, 0, 0 and then february as 0, 0, 0, 0001 up to 1011 for december and which are all the months containing 31 days those months we need to consider as output one otherwise it will be zero and rest of the inputs we need to take it as don't care so for that you can see here from 0000, 0, 0, 0 that is from january till december i have taken the values and accordingly i have taken one wherever the month is having 31 days and the rest of the values after december will be taken as x for this we need to write the sop sop is this by uh, taking the min terms into consideration similarly pos by taking the max terms into consideration uh, here we they have asked to simplify the sop using kmap so we have simplified this kmap uh, sop using kmap like this and also implemented that using basic gates so this is how the basic gate representation look like cross verify this if there is any error or uh, mistake i have made while solving the problem you please comment below then what is user defined primitives in verilog what are the general rules for udp udp means the user can create additional primitives by defining them in a tabular form so using the table format you can see here the table a true table is as it is uh, put it in the primitive block of verilog code so this gives a user defined primitive that can be used in design you can see here udp is used the name of the udp here it is 02467 so 02467 is just the name of the primitive you can give any name so here 02467 why they have taken means whenever 0 whenever it is 2 6 uh, 4 6 7 the outputs are 1 that's why just they have given the name like that so uh, for this the truth table um, they can be written separately because of here the truth table is already included i have not shown the truth table separately you can write the truth table first and then write the code as it is and then write the schematic for this you can, you can see the schematic uh, over here for the udp and uh, uh, this is what the verilla code and also the rules i have given over here you can read this rules while writing the udp what are all the things required coming to the next question differentiate latch and flip-flops 
the main difference between the latch and flip flop is that latches are level trigger devices and flip flop are head trigger devices and latches sometimes may contain clock or not contain clock also flip flops are always clocked means clocks are required and uh, the, the latches are constructed using logic gates we can say and flip flops are constructed using logic gates also using latches and then coming to the 4 bit adder using 4 full ladders a 1 bit full ladder is first required and then we are going to use that while designing the 4 bit full ladder this is the ripple carry adder diagram uh, it taking a naught b naught a1 b1 a2 b2 a3 b3 as inputs and s naught s1 s2 s3 and c4 are the outputs implement y of a b c d uh, with the expression given using 16 is to 1 max and 8 is to 1 max also so this is the truth table uh, i have taken all these min terms into consideration uh, as per the expression uh, function given so 0 1 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 4 will be having 1 and in the other places i have taken 0 so accordingly here in the multiplexer considering the inputs from i0 to i15 and i0 it means 0 0 0 0 it will select i0 so select lines are a b c d and inputs are like this and wherever one is there we need to connect those to one and zeros will be connected together to zero this is the simple implementation then coming to the implementation using 8 is to 1 max we need to take a b c as select lines so these three become select lines and d will be the input so we need to take the one more table here for d is equal to 0 and d is equal to 1 and these are the positions uh, for 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 up to 15 and d is equal to 0 and d is equal to 1 uh, there are output is d is equal to 0 output is 1 d is equal to 1 output is 1 so here these two are ones i have taken uh, uh, i naught is 1 similarly when i1 is going to be selected when i1 will be selected when a b c is 0 0 1 since these three are select lines that's why when d is equal to 0 it will be 0 d is equal to 1 output will be 0 means when select line is 0 0 1 the uh, output will be 0 means we need to tie that i1 to 0 similarly as we took all the different values it gives 1 uh, 0 0 1 1 1 d bar d bar so you connect all the ones together i0 similarly i3 i4 i5 and uh, 0 will be these two i1 i2 and d bar d bars i6 and i7 this is how 8 is to 1 multiplexer we can use for implementation of uh, any expression so the other video is there separate video is there on this it will explain clearly how we can do step by step by step you can refer to that and also the next question explain different modeling styles using uh, modeling styles used in verilog with an example there are uh, three modeling styles structural style data flow style behavioral style and also gate level style we can uh, say structural style and gate level uh, style are similar in this level otherwise you can take structural style separately and gate level style separately here the gate level style code is also written this can be uh, referred as structural style used all the gate primitives here in design of logic gates similarly if you write the same code using data flow style here assign statement need to be used and the expression for those gates need to be written similarly in the behavioral style i i used always statement in the always statement um, uh, block uh, in the sensitivity parameter we need to use all the inputs and the outputs are defined here in within always begin and end so this is behavioral style the next question is bcd to xs3 code converter so bcd means it is a number between 0 to 9 and we need to convert that into xs3 means we need to add 3 for that plus 3 so if we take 4 bits we need we need 4 bits to represent 0 to 9 so after 9 we have other input combinations also for those we take it as don't care this will be useful while grouping the things so you can see the k map and grouping and expressions for uh, those and the final implementation or the circuit will be like this you can cross verify this by your end try to solve these uh, k maps and check whether it is correct or not comment in the comment section and then the next question is define decoder 
describe the working principle of 3 to 8 decoder draw the logic diagram of 3 to 8 decoder with enable input realize the following boolean function using 3 to 8 decoder and multi input r gates so you can see this is the uh, truth table block diagram i have not written here you need to write the block diagram by taking x y z as inputs with an enable input and all the other outputs are uh, d0 to d7 and you can see the expressions will be like this for d1 uh, it is x bar y bar and z into enable similarly if you write d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 d7 it will be like this and then you need to write the circuit diagram also by using not gate and and gate i have written the circuit here this is for the 3 is to 8 decoder then they have given two expressions here two functions to implement using decoder in the first one we have uh, 137 so directly connect 137 as the output lines will be the input for one r gate then this gives the output f1 similarly 235 is the uh, uh, thing given in the question connect 2 3 and 5 outputs of the decoder to one r gate this gives the expression f2 that is the second half of the question here so further questions will be discussed in part 2 video otherwise this video becomes lengthy thank you wait for that video i will be upload soon